Okay, I'm back. So, sorry about that, guys. What happens is that um, uh, the... That was my dog. I don't know if you guys heard that. But what happened is that the notification uh, came on for WhatsApp, right? And it just freaking cut off. And that really pisses me off because I don't even know how to video edit now. So now I gotta figure it out. I don't wanna do this whole video again. I was already 12 minutes in. So what I was going back to was that, um, what I was, well, what I was talking about is that once you get to black belt, that's it. Adaptations on the fly, on the fly. So uh, I just wanna repeat a little bit of it just in case uh, I'm not even sure when it cut off, you know? So man, when you get to black belt, you're like Floyd Mayweather in the ring, right? In the middle of a fight, you can make your adaptations. You've seen uh, a lot of, uh, well, you've been through so much after 10 years of rolling, you know, whether it be three times a week, five times a week, whatever. I mean, you just you just know, you know, what to do, exactly what to do. So you're never in, um, uh, how do you say it? You're never confused or like caught by surprise, you know? Like, not to say that you'll always win and that not, you know, and all that, and that you, that you won't lose, but I mean, you know exactly what you're doing. You make your adaptations. If the opponent's faster than you, bigger than you, stronger than you, or if uh, you're the one who has those advantages over. So you, you know, you're able to, to play around with people uh, who, who, who don't have the same uh, experience and skill level as you. So, which is super cool, super cool. And, that's why having a black belt, I mean, it's a 10 year, like 10 year investment, man. And even then after that, I mean, you then from there, well, you know, you keep practicing because at that point it's, it's such a ingrained part of your being that uh, why would you stop, right? Uh, unless of course you have, you know, something really terrible happened uh, is going on in your life, you know, uh, or maybe you're just too injured at that point. So that's why I push guys, guys, you got to, you gotta take care of your body, man. It's not just uh, it's it's not just you know training super hard, being a meathead, and then after that being handicapped once you get to the black belt. You want to be able to keep doing this. So that's why lifting weights, stretching, heck, you know, yoga is something that I'm actually gonna pick up um, when I uh, when this whole thing is over. I mean, I can do it on the internet now and stuff like that, and I, I might start well, I might start stretching, but I wanted to do hot yoga, hot yoga, because I found a place nearby near my gym. It's cheap, cheapish, right? And I'm all about cheap right now. Free is even better, but you know, hot yoga, cause it really, uh, you know, with the heat and everything, uh, sauna has a tremendous benefits for your health, your longevity and uh, all kinds of stuff. It's been proven that you live longer, you know, it, it forces your body to create something called a heat shock protein. And that does all kinds of wonderful stuff to your body. So definitely yoga, uh, yoga, stretching, a lot of stretching, a lot of weights, mobility work, you know, rest when you have to when your body's taking a beating and you got injuries uh you gotta rest so also another thing that i uh on a side note right this whole quarantine here actually is allowing me to rehab my shoulder my injuries get back into shape and you know make sure that when i come back i'm, I'm good to go you know because a cute uh you know as you get older even when you're young like you might be able to push through it and and you don't uh you don't take care of it you think you're gonna heal and all that but like injury is the bane of all athletes, right? And if you're older, you're more prone to injury, man. You know, and, and, and the problem, one of the, um, one of the guys in the, uh, the community, uh, he's been here from the beginning, and it's not like if I started that many years ago, but uh, he, he told me, man, the problem with when you're 40 years old is that you could still push hard, really hard, as if, you know, when you're, when you're young. But the problem is you're more injury prone and it takes you longer to recover from your workouts and from your injuries. So you gotta be careful about that. Even uh, guys who are, I remember in my 30s, man, I was pushing, pushing, and now I'm paying for it, right? So now I'm being a little bit smarter about it. Well, a lot, lot smarter. And I'm taking care of myself. I'm giving myself time to, to recover, you know, because I'm in this for the long haul. So I believe that if you guys are, want to be in this for the long haul, as I do, and I believe that a lot of you guys are, then you definitely have to pace yourself, man. You know, there's a lot of things you could eat. Even when you're injured, you could train, you can go to the club, but you do stuff on the side that doesn't aggravate the injury, right? You drill, light, you, you spar with people who are lighter than you. Even, even that's why it's wonderful sometimes to, to, to just roll with, uh, um, with girls because uh, they're lighter, generally speaking, right? And also, even if they're about the same weight, they don't, they're not as strong physically as men, right? 
because testosterone that's what it does it, it having so much testosterone like a man compared to a woman enables you to like really uh push hard beyond like you know beyond uh what a the capabilities of a woman who has a lot less testosterone so anyways um i hope that makes sense guys so i'm just gonna reiterate okay from white to blue you're learning how to defend and move on the ground you're learning how to swim right with the sharks <laughs> from blue to purple you start to develop your style your identity you start to know yourself you start attacking from from purple to brown you have you're starting to have a system of attack in every position right and then from brown to black that's when you're just making adaptations on the fly on the fly so that's what black belt means so i'll make another video on uh, the belts and the progression levels for judo and what they mean but it's different right it's very it's i wouldn't say very different but definitely different different not as uh it doesn't take 10 years to get a black belt in judo unless of course maybe you're injured and you know you're going at it very slowly and you only train like once a week and you know you're a little bit older and you're doing it for fun for sport which shouldn't stop you from trying to get to the black belt if you really enjoy it right but i mean it would just take you a lot longer if uh, you're not competing and you're not getting your points and all that for the black belt but there's ways to go to there, there's a system in place for people who want to to get their black belt even when they're older but they can't compete and stuff so i hope that that made sense guys and um you know what i'm gonna do instead of uh should i try to video edit this uh, yeah you know i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try I'm, it's gonna be nasty guys I, I suck at video editing but i'm gonna take that first video and just like start to crunch it together in, in some kind of software and but it will get better with time so thank you again for watching guys uh once again uh like the video subscribe share of course it helps me grow the channel sharing is caring notification bell uh right now as of now I'm, I'm making a video every day if not more sometimes and uh yeah i hope you guys follow me on my journey and uh grow this channel man so you guys can you know i'm gonna track everything i do well not everything but my training and and my progression my competitions and all that and my weight training and uh, i can't uh i'm gonna make this happen it's uh, it's always been my childhood dream to be a champion right it just got kind of crushed out of me through uh, you know a lot of things man uh you know parents society you know like uh, misguided beliefs whatnot you know so stuff like that happens but fuck it you know what oops did i just curse there yeah i did oh well there it goes monetization <laughs> oh well so but yeah i'm going for it now 41 years old i'm gonna go for it don't know when it's gonna happen don't know when i'm gonna achieve it but i'm not putting a timeline on this but i do realize that uh the longer i go the older i get and uh the harder like the more time it takes for me to recover and all that so i'm gonna do my damn best to stay in shape stay healthy work on my injuries and rebalance my musculature relative balance right because there's nothing as it i want to show you guys my dog there you go that's hero he's four years old so uh try to keep him alive as long as possible you know i'm big into longevity guys so i might actually have the key well this book i don't know if you guys see it uh but it's called lifespan right why we age and why we don't have to by david a sinclair phd super super interesting on all the developments in uh, longevity health span not just living longer but living longer and being like super healthy and we're talking about like man you know 120 easy even more and then eventually reversing aging which like if you re if you read the book like you'll understand what i mean it's nuts man so anyways that's it for this video guys thank you see you guys in the next one